Hi everybody, it's uh, Richard Mitchell with Joystick and I'm speaking with uh, Mr. Yosuke Hayashi yeah. from uh, Team Ninja. He's the producer on Dead or Alive 5. I'm also speaking with uh, overseas producer uh, Peter Garza. Hi. And he'll be interpreting. Um, so Dead or Alive 5 is uh, a big release for Team Ninja right now. Yes. And uh, last night at Team Ninja's event, uh, you described it as fighting entertainment. Uh, what do you mean by fighting entertainment? Fighting entertainment is all about being able to reach a wider audience. So you have the entertainment aspect that brings in people who might not be into fighting games. But it's also got a solid core of a fighting game. And it's a definitely you know, a tournament ready fighting game. Fighting game tournaments are really popular now. And we're definitely looking at that core fan base. And we want to bring to them you know, a fighting game that's going to please them and is going to work with them. You know, fighting entertainment is the You wanted to appeal to both casual players as well as hardcore fighters. Uh, how do you please both? Uh, you know, the people who are into the hardcore technical aspects of fighting and also the people who just want to pick something up and play it and enjoy it. Uh, Dead or Alive 5 has always been visually very interesting, so I think that's good for casual players. But what else do you do to draw them in? And also, how do you appeal to hardcore fighters? So you absolutely have to have the spectacle there for people just to see it and say, hey, I want to do that. For Dead or Alive, we have these interactive stages. So you can bash someone into a wall, you'll see a train come shooting through a building and knock into another stage. So there's definitely the spectacle that's going on that's going to draw people in. But for core players and people who like fighting games, you have to work the gameplay in there for them. A hardcore fighting game expert, you know, who's going to know the Dead or Alive system will know how to position themselves and how to work their opponent into the right position where they can get that hit into that wall that's going to cause the train to come and bounce their opponent out. Uh, a lot has been said about the, the visual redesign of the characters. They're made to look, uh, especially the, the women, the female characters, they're made to look a little bit more realistic and a little less like anime characters. And I'm curious because Dead or Alive uh, ties so closely with Ninja Gaiden that will those redesigns be reflected in future Ninja Gaiden games? Well, both series sort of have their different directions. But that being said, we definitely have, you know, received good praise from the redesign. And we want players and just people in general to, to sort of fall in love with the characters again for Dead or Alive 5. We really focused on bringing out their individuality of the characters so that each one doesn't feel like, you know, just another doll and just a reskin of the other players. Um, and that's really been the focus of the redesign for Dead or Alive 5.